Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and your person at this time and what can you expect next. Keep in mind that these readings are general so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you Virgo. All right Virgo, let's get into this for Virgo Spirit Angels guys. What messages, what guidance do you have for Virgo? regarding love for Virgo regarding love what do they need to know spirit what do they need to know all right for Virgo oh. what does Virgo need to know Current energies, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. On your side, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. And on your person's side, we have Death, Scorpio energy there, and the Sun. Hmm. Interesting, Death and the Sun. I also find it interesting that your person has all the major arcana in this spread. These are going to be the future energies down here. It's like there are major shifts in energy happening for your person. I'm, I'm seeing dawn. It's like the, the sun sets and then dawns with death and the sun. Some sort of change or transformation that your person is experiencing. That for some reason is going to bring about something good. There's something good that's coming from this, like a rebirth. And then on your side, it's like you, you have been worried or doubtful, having doubts maybe about the future outcome of something, something to do with freedom, independence. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, justice, Libra energy. So I feel like with the Knight of Swords, there's like a message, information coming in. I think it's a decision with the two of pentacles and justice, like someone's making a final decision. Let's get some energies. Tell me more for Virgo. For Virgo, sir, what can Virgo expect in love? Energies for Virgo. Regarding love energies for Virgo. I think you might be waiting for this message as well, Virgo. This Knight of Swords. Energies, please. Cold shoulder. Silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. What else? Far apart, distance, separation, divide. So I feel like you're not with this person. There's an emotional distance with, between you. And I feel also uh, no communication here. Yeah, broken silence. So someone's going to be breaking the silence here. And I think that they've been debating with themselves that they want to do this, that they want to be um, sharing this, uh, their feelings. That's this Knight of Swords and Two of Pentacles. It's like someone's finally making that call to open up. Let's get some clarity here for Virgo. What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Let's start there. Why is this Knight of Swords here? The Three of Wands. Yeah, so you've been waiting for this message coming in. It's like you've been waiting for a response or a message from this person. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. The chariot, cancer energy. I feel like this person's coming to visit you. When I see the three of wands with the chariot, it's like you're expecting a visit. And it's almost like there's a quick message here that someone, if someone's like, they can't wait to get the words out. Bottom of the deck, the seven of wands, resistance, defensiveness, courage. It could be that someone's fighting for you. You know, proving themselves to you as well. 
Let's tell me about the two of pentacles. Tell me about the two of pentacles. The six of swords. Yeah, so someone's debating making this journey or leaving a situation behind. The death card. Someone has been going back and forth about this decision, about this, you know, whether it has to do with a departure or travel of some sort. The Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I think it's because someone's thinking about love. Maybe their heart is... Uh... This person feels lost. In their mind, they can't win, no matter what they choose. If they follow their heart and go with love... It's going to be difficult somewhat. If they don't, then they don't have love and it's still difficult, you know? Tell me about justice. I love that justice is here though. Justice is here to make things right, to make things fair, balanced, and just. This could also be a legal matter, a court's matter, like uh, something to do with like an official institu institution. If I could get the word out. <laughs> Tell me about justice. Seven of Swords. Okay, so if someone was trying to get away with something here, Virgo, it's not working. Tell me about justice. Oops, I keep hitting the tripod. It's driving me nuts. Wheel of Fortune. Holy crap. Yes, when the Wheel of Fortune and Justice are here, nothing could get in the way of this. Like That's essentially the energy there. Things are going to be fair to you no matter what. Five of Wands. Oh yeah, there was like a battle here. And if there was a battle, if there was conflict, if there was drama, you're going to be the winner. I feel like justice is not going to allow anyone to get away with this. Period. Let's get some energies here for you and this person. Virgo, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, let's get some insight, please. Tell me about Virgo and this other person's energy spirit. What do we need to know? Tell me about Virgo. Pathway. So Virgo, there's still a long way to go here in your mind. You still have a long way to go on this journey that you're on. I think you're worried about the outcome of something. You're worried about whether this will happen for you. Marriage is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be hoping that marriage is at the end of this rainbow, or maybe some of you are wondering if your marriage, your commitment will last the test of time here. Tell me about the person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies? This other person, what do we need to know? Despair. Well, they're not doing so well. Something's ending for them, so it could be that they're worried about this ending that they're experiencing here. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Virgo and this other person? Tell me about Virgo's energy. Oh my god, okay. I wish things could be different, okay? And I hope that you can forgive me one day. So regrets here, Virgo. Do you have regrets when it comes to this connection? If you don't, it could be that this is what you're hearing from this other person. So there's definitely a history here between you and this other person, um, but you're not together. And I don't, I don't think you're talking to them either. Tell me about this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies towards Virgo? I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, maybe you're the one that cut them off. It's like they're waiting for a green light here. I think this person's missing you, this despair energy. Um, bottom of the deck, I wish I could take back my words. So yeah, there's regrets on both sides. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, check out that reading. Um, it would have come out with the same... At the same time that you're watching this reading, Taurus would have come out as well, because I do Earth signs together. So if you're dealing with a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their chart, check out that reading. Very similar energies. 
So let's let's get um, more insight into how you're feeling here towards each other. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What? What? Not the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. What do we need to know for Virgo? Two of Cups. Yeah, you're worried about a, a connection, a partnership. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, judgment. Maybe you're hoping for a second chance with this person, Virgo. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are married to this person, and it's you're going through a difficult time with them. And you're wondering if this is who you're meant to be with or if this is going to work out. Others of you, maybe this other person is married. Or you're worried about the future of your connection with someone that you really want to be with. There's an uh, energy here of second chances with judgment. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're not giving up on a specific person here or the idea of like being together. Two of Pentacles. So I think you're just waiting for someone to make the decision to choose. And it's like you're being loyal to them until they choose. I feel like you're waiting for this person. You're waiting for their arrival. You're waiting for their message, etc. So why the death card over here? Tell me about death. Why is death here? Why is death here? Two of Swords. <laughs> so the decision is to end something, to walk away. Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, death. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups shows up again. So I feel like this is, wow, the tower at the bottom of the deck. That's the problem. That's the problem, Virgo. Exactly what I was saying at the beginning of this reading. That's the energy that I was picking up that no matter what choice this person makes, two of swords, two of pentacles, it will be a difficult consequence. Every choice comes with consequences, but in your person's instance, it's like they're, they're choosing to follow their heart and it's going to be difficult for them. There's going to be a cost with the tower. And that's why it's been so hard for them to make this decision. Because they know no matter what choice they make, there's a an outcome that's not the best outcome. But I, I have a feeling that choosing love is equal to choosing risk, right? There's a risk involved. Maybe there's adversaries, people that would not be happy for you both with the Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, people you can't trust, people that would try to get in the way here. But Justice is saying that that's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Tell me about the sun and the sun as well. Tell me about the sun. What's the sun about? The Emperor. Wow, Aries energy, fire all over this here. Emperor and the sun. Well, the emperor is a doer. The emperor takes charge of a situation. Tell me about the sun. What else do we need to know about the sun? Page of Swords. Yeah, this is re this is um, revealing their feelings here. Bottom of the deck, Justice, Libra energy. I think that this person. There's two ways that I'm seeing this, right? Because as, as what I see here, there's multiple um, scenarios that match or that go together with this spread. Um, some of you are dealing with a person who is like waiting for an outcome. Um, or they're just waiting for a sign from you, like a response to their message or something like that. And they are kind of held up until that decision is made. Or that result comes up or you respond to their message, right? They're waiting to act beyond that. Others of you, this person is choosing to end a situation. And they're going to tell you about it. That's why broken silence is here and far apart. It's almost like they're bridging that gap. And they want to talk to you about 
this ending, this choice they've made. And I think for a lot of you, they're coming to visit you to do it. So let's see what you can expect. Four of Swords. Wow. Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful energy. Wheel of Fortune has shown up twice. Ace of Wands is all about new beginnings, passionate new beginnings, new endeavors. Four of Swords is all about healing, reflecting. Um, tell me about the Four of Swords. So there's definitely, the wheel is here to assist and set things like in motion. Um, this is like a lucky break, a lucky start. Fate on your side, justice on your side. It's a good place to be. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Wow, the Ace of Swords. So I feel like th this is that breaking silence energy. So that's what you can expect. This person is going to reach out to you. And some of you might not be expecting this message from them because I feel like you haven't talked in some time. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are going to be very happy to hear from this person. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about a new start, a new opportunity. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. As of right now, all they can offer you is like pages, Four of Cups. Yeah, I think that this is an opportunity. You have to take it. Be very careful because I keep getting this message for a lot of signs with the Wheel of Fortune and with new opportunities. Just because the door is in front of you does not mean that spirit is going to push you through it. You have to make the choice to walk through that door. And you have to make the choice to take that opportunity, to take advantage of the opportunity presented to you. The Four of Cups is about being closed off to new opportunities, being sad, dejected, focused on the wrong thing or focused on the past and not looking towards the future, not seeing an opportunity right in front of you. However, in this deck, this um, individual is looking straight at this um, cup. Hopefully my camera's picking it up. But yes, they're looking straight at this cup right in front of them, which is very different to the other tarot um, designs, like the traditional tarot design of this card. So I think that this is an opportunity that someone needs to grab. And I think that there's, yeah, look at this, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's a beautiful, beautiful opportunity that's being presented here. Someone needs to grab it. If that opportunity is the decision to close something, to end a cycle, to come forward, if this person comes forward with this message and you shut the door in their face, well, that's the end of that opportunity, right? So you need to be open to this if this is what you want, Virgo. Let me know in the comments if you would open the door for this person. I would love to know. Um, or if you're ready for a new opportunity with this person. Are you thinking about someone from the past that you would love to reconnect with? Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.